animatedanatomy.com. So, because some of my recent videos about vagina anatomy and female sex organs anatomy have been removed by YouTube because it says they had an adult content and one of them has been age restricted. I decided to make one more video about vagina anatomy and to show the vagina again. So here we see the female body and the female body <clears throat> in this case we don't need the muscular system or actually we do just to show you one muscle here it's a small muscle and it's this muscle right here it's called the bulbo spongiosus muscle if you're learning about the physiology of the female sex organs then you might need to know the bulbo spongiosus muscle now if we remove the muscular system we should remove the digestive system well we might just as well remove the skeletal system here we see some organs and let's start by explaining you the reproductive organs. Uh, in reproductive organs, we include the breasts as well, but in this case, we're talking about here the lower organs. And let's start by explaining this here. This is the vulva, and this right here is the clitoris. This is what you see from the outside. It's the external female uh, genital organ. Then you have here a vaginal opening, and that's where the penis enters during the intercourse. And this here is the vagina. This here is the uterus. And those are the fallopian tubes through which egg cells are traveling through. The egg cells are located here in the ovaries, left and the right. The egg cells come from the ovaries they travel through the fallopian tubes they get fertilized somewhere on their way then they nest in the uterus and if they're fertilized the baby will grow and eventually when baby is done with growing it has to pass through vagina and come here through the vaginal opening this can be very painful that's why doctors can sometimes cut here in order to allow the easier birth and this is painful as well but less painful than having a very tight vagina and having a very big child yeah well you might have noticed there is also small here hole very small hole right here and that has nothing to do with reproductive organs that's basically a urethra it's coming from the bladder now if you we zoom out, you will see other organs here as well. And those are the urinary organs. Those are not the reproductive organs. This here is the right kidney. Kidney is basically a filter. And everything that gets filtered out of your blood goes through the kidney, then enters the urethra, and then goes all the way down to the bladder. From the bladder, it, ad it exits the body through the urethra here. So here we see the vulva, and well, let's start from uh, up there. Here we have the clitoral hood, and here is the clitoris. Uh, clitoris, we were able to see that on our 3D model as well. Here is the labia minor and the labia major, and here is the urethral opening. This is where the urine comes out. And here is the vaginal opening, that's where the baby comes out or the penis goes in. This right here is the perineum and it is the place between the vaginal opening and the anus. Now this place is important for the people who ride the bike or uh, have or ride horses. They can exert pressure on this area and therefore compressing the perineal nerve, causing the this functions in their sexual life as well in the anus and the anal sphincter can be damaged the function of the anal sphincter can be damaged so here we see everything from the sagittal in the sagittal section uh, here is the labia minor and the labia major 
that I explained. Here is the urethral opening and the urethra. And then here is the bladder, where the urine is. Then here is the vaginal opening, and then here comes the vagina. And, of course, here you have the cervix, and then is the uterus. You should notice that uh, you hear the vagina goes behind the bladder, and the uterus is kind of going over the bladder. And the cervix is an important place because there are numerous cancers and sexually transmitted diseases associated with this place. That's very important to know. So here you can see that in 3D, as I've just illustrated from the sagittal slice. The cervix is here, this is vagina and the uterus. Now I will explain uterus a little bit more into detail, and then I will explain the fallopian tubes and the ovaries. So here we see the layers and the arteries of the wall of the womb. And the inner layer is called the endometrium. The middle layer here is the myometrium. And there is also one more part. And that is the loose connective tissue around the womb. And that is called the perimetrium. So what I just explained is incredibly important for the implantation of the egg cell that comes from the ovaries here. The, remember, the eggs from ovaries come here, they go through here, they get fertilized, they reach the uterus, and they get implanted. And the entire implantation process and steering of the process with the hormones and growth of certain parts of the wall, it, it, it's a very important thing to know, and this is a very important uh, part of the lesson. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description, or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe, or like my video.